on today's adventure. We ditched the open road for the open ocean and are stranded for 30 hours on Anacapa Island with thousands of birds. It's episode 4 of our 5,000 mile road trip and we're at Channel Island, our 5th national park. Let's get going. No. Pretty Caroline, oh, 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 Stone Cold, Stone Cold. Check status for Sunday, August 15th. All no. trips for Sunday, August 15th are going as scheduled. Oh if yeah. These trips have to be canceled or changed for any reason. Anna Kappa, here we come. So here we are, bags in the front and the bags on the back. Uh, yeah. Ready to go to Anacapa. We're gonna say goodbye to the RAV4 for the next two days. We're gonna head over and get our stuff loaded onto the ferry to bring us over to Anacapa. Let's go to Anacapa. The best way to visit Anacapa is through Island Package Cruises in Oxnard, California. After checking in and scanning their map of Anacapa, it was time to load our gear and wait for our departure from the mainland. One of us was already worried from the volume of birds on shore. You hear that? I hear that. The birds are here. We are about to encounter so many birds. I think we'll be okay. We're not ready for it. We'll be all right. We're not ready. Oh, they're boarding. They're boarding. After boarding, it was a quick 10 minute trip within the harbor where we saw some locals lounging on the docks before reaching the open water. We weren't expecting much from the one hour ride to Anacapa, but it turned into a major highlight of the trip. Here's why. The wildlife and views were incredible. Between thousands of dolphins inches from the boat and birds plunging into the water, it was truly magical ride that went by quicker than we would have liked. On the horizon, Anacapa hove into view and we were growing wary of its white splattered cliffs. We were greeted by our soon-to-be roommates and waved goodbye to the boat, signaling the beginning of our 30 hours stranded with the birds. How you doing? It smells. It smells. You have to carry all your stuff up like 150 steps. Maybe less. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, a lot of steps. And you have to carry everything and my arms hurt. Since our campsite was occupied and we couldn't set up our gear, we dropped our heavy bags and water supply before joining the park ranger lead hike. If you want to learn more about this island, there's no better way than from a ranger. By the end, we had made it to Inspiration Point, one of the most iconic views in all of California. What's Inspiration Point, Blake? <laughs> we don't know what it is. It's definitely loud, it definitely smells, and there's definitely poop everywhere, but I'm glad we came during the breeding season. Our boat gets here in exactly 26 hours, but until then, Let's go say hi to our bird friends. Yeah. <laughs> they smell it. I can smell it, they can smell it. They know it's tuna. So we've been here for just a little while and we already have a list of things that we wish we had. Number one, picnic blanket. Number two, sunscreen. Number three, what? more food. And as you can hear, everyone's just very loud, very active, very social and we're gonna go socialize a little bit, so we're gonna go take a walk. As we began to familiarize ourselves with the trails and sheer cliffs of Anacapa, we saw a ton of juvenile seals playing in the water below. Moving on, we set our sights on the small visitor center near the landing cove. We signed into the logbook, noting our shortcomings, and took our time reading about the interesting history behind the island's inhabitants, as well as the many shipwrecks that preceded the lighthouse. Not only just a sanctuary from the birds and sun, it also has the original Fresno lens on display, which is a must-see when visiting the island. If you guys are interested at all in knowing a little bit of more history about the lighthouse or Anacapa in general, visit the visitor center. We are now going to check out the lighthouse and see how cool it is. Let's go. Let's go. Excuse me, sir. 
I'm trying to record. You see this sign that says that we're not supposed to go any further because of Foghorn, which you probably just heard behind me. They have plans to actually no, renovate this uh, lighthouse so you can actually go up it. Uh, there's a staircase on the inside, so hopefully they can do that at some point, but who knows, because like, getting any kind of infrastructure on an island like this is incredibly difficult. We're gonna turn around and go back uh, to where we came from. Okay, so we've been on the island long enough, so we're gonna start with some seagull facts. Seagull fact number one. Seagulls are lifetime monogamous creatures. So when they find a mate, they find a mate for life. If their partner dies, mm. every year they come back to the nest at the same exact spot. They also have the same exact nesting spot. That's fact number two. <laughs> if, if I died, would you like just come back to bed like expecting me to come home every night or what? Absolutely. <laughs> I don't think so. We hike back to the campsite to set up our gear and take a much needed nap. After whipping up our gourmet adventure meal, we are ready to head out again. Bird fact number three, only 60% of the seagulls here make it through like the first three weeks of them being born. It's because the baby birds go over to other nests and then the seagulls attack the baby birds and then they don't make it. Don't touch it. To inspiration point. We go. We are out here in inspiration point at sunset and since you're not here with us, this is what it looks like. When filming a cinematic sequence, don't forget spare batteries. So I'm trying to make it all the way back to the campsite and then back out to the sunset. Everyone else here has the same idea as us. They're going to inspiration point too. Out of my way, birds, coming through. Oh man, I made it back. Well, we're back in business. With the day visitors long gone, we were lucky to experience the magic of Inspiration Point in its best light along with only the few others staying overnight. With the sun setting right behind this incredible view, it's no doubt that these fleeting moments remind us of how lucky we were to be stranded here. After traveling 1,700 miles from Texas to the California coast in four days, this was the first time since our road trip began that we didn't have anywhere else to be that night. We highly recommend planning ahead and getting camping permits through recreation.gov to not miss out on this special island's best kept secret. Wow. <laughs> Sunset wow. was amazing. I think that's all that Anna Kappa has in store for us today. But we'll see you tomorrow. After a noisy night and even more noisy morning, we fueled up on another meal that Ellie didn't particularly like. I had some coffee that I didn't particularly like, and we got ready for another day amongst the birds. We're now gonna go explore more of the island because believe it or not, we have not seen the whole thing yet. Right. Five hours left with the birds. Yep. So what's our next fun fact? Bird fact number four. The seagulls have a little like bullseye red circle on their beaks. The baby uses that little bullseye to peck at the mother's beak, hitting it, hitting it, hitting it until they get so tired and they give them food. We plan to complete the full loop hike of the island, first heading towards Inspiration Point. After learning about the invasive ice plant brought to the island by the Coast Guard, we were keen to help the conservationists that want it gone. You just squirted some around to the lens right here. The native plants have slowly been making a comeback due to conservation efforts, but the ice plant problem isn't quite solved just yet. Seagull fact number five. If you're ever on the west coast and see a seagull, you can thank Anacapa Island because 90% of the seagulls that are on the western seaboard come from this actual island. Next time a seagull comes and grabs one of your french fries, you can thank this dusty island on Channel Islands. We continue to Cathedral Cove, another scenic overlook and a great spot to look for seals.
It was around this point we saw the day trippers arrive from the landing cove and we completed the full loop of the island. We finished our remaining rations and we were happy our final freeze-dried meal on Anacapa was behind us. We packed up our gear and said goodbye to our closest neighbor. Double packs on our backs, we were excited to head back to the landing cove and down the steps we climbed what felt like days ago. We recommend getting back to the boat early so you don't have to wait forever to board. Don't be that person making a boat full of people wait for you to make your way back to the landing cove. Goodbye. 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 We're to enjoy this ride back and then we're probably going to get some Chick-fil-A or something to a treat. Since the conditions were so good, we got quite the send off from Inacapa. Cruising past the iconic arch, we got to appreciate our home for the past 30 hours from a new perspective. The seals looked sad to see us leave, but as Anacapa Island faded away behind us, we were back at Oxnard Harbor before we knew it. Exhausted, sunburnt, and hungry, we were happy to be back on the mainland. We're about to go to Chick-fil-A. I'm very excited for it. We're gonna treat ourselves hey. after being so dirty on that island for so long. And it's been so nice to get back in the RAV4. Oh, it's been so great. I wonder if this will even get in the video. Hmm. Second one. Bird calls still ringing in our ears. We had some time to reflect on what we had just accomplished. Anacapa during bird season is a dirty, loud, and unhospitable place to pitch a tent for the night. But we loved every second of it. Inspiration Point lived up to its name, and in typical fashion, we were hundreds of miles from our destination that night. On our next episode, we wake up in the beautiful Pinnacles Campground and eye up the newest national park in California. Connecting three strenuous trails into one during midday heat, we bite off more than we can chew on the search for the elusive California condor. Don't miss this one. Drop a like and a comment if you enjoyed this video, and remember to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on what's to come. Until then, we'll, we'll see, see you next week, week on today's, today's adventure. adventure.